for takeoff. Fly at all. Hmm. Huh? Look! A super big plane! How can it fly? Great question. Do oh. ah. you want to explore the secret of flying? <laughs> yes, yes, Dr. Dr. Root. Let knowledge click. Airplanes can fly because of how air moves around their wings. Look! A wing isn't flat like a fan blade. The top is curved, the bottom is flatter. When air flows, the top air moves faster to catch up with the bottom air. Faster air on top means lower pressure. Slower air below means higher pressure. This difference lifts the plane into the sky. Wow! Airplanes also have engines. Engines push airplane forward. When the airplane goes very fast, the wings make enough lift to fly up. So airplanes fly because of teamwork. The engines push, the wings lift, and the air helps. Now I have a quiz. Which force helps airplanes fly? Gravity, lift. Drag, thrust, <laughs> lift. <laughs> All four. Hooray! Well done. <laughs> now we know how airplanes can fly. <laughs> That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> I just save you big time. Mm. Do you know what happens if you get stung oh. by a bee? Mm. Let knowledge click. Oh. Honeybees are social insects, which means that they live ah. together in large, well-organized family groups. Huh. Oh. When they feel threatened, or even their hive is invaded, bees will sting the attacker to protect their hive and queen. First, the bees stick a stinger into the target skin. The stinger is like a tiny barb needle that sticks firmly in the skin. Venom is gradually pumped through the stinger into the body, causing redness swelling and pain. When the bee stings, its stinger gets stuck and tears up part of its body, which causes its life. So, bees only sting when they really have to. So what should we do if we get stung by a bee? When the bee stings, its venomous stinger gets stuck in our skin. The first thing to do is to quickly remove the stinger. <laughs> Washing the sting thoroughly helps reduce the risk of venom spreading. After that, apply a cold compress to the sting to help reduce the pain. Wow! <laughs> if you get stung, it's best to fly on a doll right away for help. Kitty, stay still! Huh? Ah! 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 Huh? Woofoo, your cat doesn't like water. Oh. Do you know why most cats are afraid of water? Let knowledge click! Ancient cats lived in a dry places with little water and they learned to hunt without needing to swim. Just like their ancestor, cats today aren't used to being in water. 
A cat's fur is super soft and light. When it gets wet, the fur becomes heavy and sticky, making it harder for them to move around. When their paws aren't touching the ground, cats lose control of their movements, which make them scared. When they're bathed, the cat's natural scent disappears. They immediately start licking themselves to restore that familiar smell. So how can I keep my cat clean? <laughs> Brush their fur to remove loose hair and dirt. Gently wipe their fur with a soft <laughs> towel so your kitty won't get scared. Clean the litter box every day. If your cat is really dirty, ask an adult to help give it a bath. You want some water too? You silly! Fish are already in the water, so they don't need to drink. Some fish do drink water, and some don't. Do you want to find out why? Yeah! <laughs> Let knowledge click! Do fish drink? It depends where they live. Salt water or fresh. <laughs> oh! Yeah! For fish that live in the ocean, the water is super salty. More salty than the fish body. So the water inside the fish try to live and go out through its skin and grills. If the fish didn't do anything, it would dry out. So, ocean fish drink sea water all the time to stay hydrated. The sea water is salty, so the gills and kitties have to work hard to push the extra salt out. <laughs> Fresh water fish are the opposite. River and lake water has less salt than their bodies, so water keeps sneaking in through the skin and gills. They don't drink actually. They need to get rid of extra water. Their kidneys are always busy. Now let's try putting each fish back into the right habitat. Blowfish. <laughs> Catfish! Dad and I once caught one at the lake. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clownfish! I know this one. It lives in the sea. Oh, yeah. wow. Well done! <laughs> I believe you learned some facts about fish today. Oh. Do you know why bats sleep this way? Let knowledge click! Why most animals go to sleep at night? Bats come out to find food. And during the day, they sleep instead. Bats usually sleep in groups, huddled together in dark, quiet spots. But why do they have to sleep upside down like that, Professor Hoot? It's because their back legs are quite weak, so they can land on their feet like birds do. Also, bats can launch into the air from the ground, so sleeping this way lets them fly away instantly. This comes out handy in case of danger. Hanging up high also keeps them safe from other animals. And since they don't need to share perches with birds or other animals, they always have a spot to rest. But how can bats hang on so tightly without falling? Their muscles are designed so that the more oh. they relax, the tighter their claws hold on. <laughs> wow! What are we gonna do with it now? 
If a bath is in your house, don't touch it. Just open a window and let it fly out safely. I got it! That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. Ow! Discover everything around us on Wufu Explore Channel.